the first meet, um, I think a lot of, uh, I think I mentioned this last week, a lot of shock um, from having such a long layoff. In some cases, you know, our, our freshmen, they didn't have any season. If they didn't have a, a high school indoor season, um, you know, they're almost two years removed from competition. And so there's a lot of, of you know, kind of breaking the rust off a little bit um, in that first meet. But this past weekend, um, you know, our distance and middle distance groups were a wonderfully successful, had a great meet. Um, conditions were, were pretty ideal um, in terms of temperature and, and, you know, rainfall was kind of intermittent and whatnot. So um, really nice meet last weekend for them. And I think right now it's just, it's, I think I said last week too, it's tough because when you, when you only have three opportunities, um, you know, you're scrapping, you're, you're really trying to, to get the most out of each competitive opportunity because they are so limited. And um, so I'm, I'm proud of them because I feel like there's a lot of, of uh, hunger for those competitions, for those opportunities. But I also have to always tell them like, you know, don't go into it thinking that it's gonna be perfect and then hold yourself to this extraordinary standard because it, it's, it's not a full season. Track is a peak performance sport. It takes many, many weeks to get yourself to your, your, your absolute best. And we just don't have those competitive opportunities right now. So um, getting them to be kind of level-headed about that has been, has been a bit of a challenge, but I'm really proud of how they've, uh, how they've gone into and out of both of the meets. I think that they've really just enjoyed being together and having a chance to compete and, uh, you know, making the best of a, of a tough spot. It's kind of sad, but also exciting um, because it is the last meet and we did have like such a short season. Um, it's exciting because I, a lot of our team, more of our team is gonna be there, especially some have been injured and they're kind of planning to come back. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, and since it's at home, we've never had, or at least I haven't been able to compete outdoors at home. And um, that's just really exciting because we practice there every day and it's such a nice facility um, to be able to bring a team there. Um, it's just really exciting. Based on what I saw in Wittenberg, although like the conditions weren't the best, um, several people did step up and, you know, did their thing. John threw down a very good 800. Um, Logan ran a better 1500. On the women's side, you had Cecilia uh, running very excellently. And over on the sprints, I personally had a good 100. The women, um, you have two freshmen, Anna and Elise, battling it off at the 400. And um, overall, just seeing a little bit of more competitiveness between some of the people and just, um, it's just fostering like faster, faster times. And so hopefully, you know, with, you know, this being our home meet and being the final meet, um, I see not only a little bit of more, you know, like competition spirit, but, you know, I'm also seeing people being more loose and, you know, hopefully having uh, more fun towards the uh, last meet. With the meet coming up, um, usually I feel like I would be more stressed about it because, you know, the last meet trying to, you know, um, get a good mark and just kind of make everything worth it. But this season, I think a lot of it, I'm just really grateful to be able to compete at all. And I think a lot of my teammates share the same idea, um, the same feelings that even if we're not the past two meets, even if we're not hitting the marks like we used to with like such a short season and such a weird training schedule, everybody is having so much fun and just being able to be with my team has been really great. So I'm excited to do that again this weekend. Similar to the past two weeks, I, I look for people to be learning. I look for them to be trying to figure things out about their their particular race or their particular event. Uh, you know, again, when you, when you have the competitions in short supply, thinking about absolute best performance is a tough thing. It's, if that's gonna be your, your, your measure of a successful day going in, uh, you know, it, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a tough day in most cases. So you really have to go in and say, all right, what, what can I take away from this, you know, from, from, from the race itself or the event itself and move forward into, into our summer training and whatnot with a sense of confidence, a sense of, um, you know, where we really need to put some focus in and get better. 
I think that's a, a big piece of what I, I continue to look for from them. Um, and also enjoying, you know, being able to have a meet on their home track. It's, it's pretty rare occasion when we get to have an outdoor competition and the weather's been fantastic. It looks like it's going to be good this weekend. And, uh, you know, hopefully they'll be able to, to really take advantage of that and, uh, and be a team one more time in a competitive atmosphere for the year.